Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Dex Lab Analytics. My name is Niharika Rai and in my previous videos I gave you a sneak peek of some of the best libraries available in, in Python to create different type of data visualizations based on your requirements. Like if you want um, flexible plots, you could use matplotlib if you wanted more method oriented plots you can use seaborn and if you wanted more interactive plots you can use pandas work now in this particular video i will be talking about a library called regex that helps you deal with string data or textual data in our day-to-day -day life what happens is that we create a different sort of data each day and what happens is that for that particular time it is just a, a an information for us in particular but over a period of time that information converts into a data which then becomes more valuable than gold itself and as you could have heard by now data is something with whoever has that person is the richest in the world itself so for a data analyst or a data analyst enthusiast the data can be in form of numerical values but it can also be in the form of textual data or it can be both at the same time so it is quite important to learn how to create um, a dating data mining technique which helps us manipulate not even numerical values but also helps us mine textual data as well so for that what we are going to do is today we are going to learn some of the very basic concepts of how you can uh, data mine um, a textual data in python using a library regex but first we will learn fundamentals and then we are going to move forward with learning how to create patterns with those same fundamental uh, keynotes which we have learned in this video so this particular video is going to be all about the the fundamentals or the basic concepts of regex and then in the next video i will be talking about how you can create patterns with the help of those uh, basic concepts by the way if you haven't watched my previous videos on visual data visualization please click on the i button on the right hand side corner of your screen now without wasting any further time let's get started now i know that i have a very cute dog image on my screen but it is there to make a point in regex there is something called literals literals now as you can see this is a dog i will also spell it out in case you don't know the spelling of dog but here is a dog and in its literal meaning when i say that that I have a Im I have an image of dog in front in my on my screen that literally means that I'm talking about a dog image right and a very cute dog image by the way but if I name this if 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 there is a secret code hidden behind this dog word suppose that in some code language that we have created a dog means a hat instead now in regex what happens is that literal is something which is the original meaning of that particular word or if i say t it actually means i am talking about t but in regex there are something uh, there is something also called in meta characters so i'm just going to write it down as well meta characters meta characters are are the characters which hold special meaning 
like in our case when i was talking about a dog i was saying i was talking about a literal dog okay but in our some kind of a code a dog when spelled out means a hat here a hat is a meta character in the same way in the same way there are few notations or few alphabets or few words when 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 written in a specific way are actually not hold their actually do not hold their literal meaning but are converted into a meta character instead so now let's let's understand what are the meta characters in python which we can use to build our patterns or list out some meta characters which are there in your reg regex library and the regex uh, and regex recognizes now the first meta character the first meta character is d when i am saying that d is a literal i am writing it like this as an alphabet but when i am defining it as i am giving it a special meaning then i am also adding a backslash right in front of it so when i add a backslash right before the d character i am saying that d is a meta character now converted meta character instead of a literal and it means digit a single digit so if i write d this d can match 1 this d if written multiple times can match two numbers based on the number of backslash t's you use you can match a certain limit of numbers as well so here i have backslash d which represents digits now this is a meta character now to, let's talk about another meta character that is small w this means alpha numeric characters that means alpha numeric means anything which is numerical or or in the form of alphabet so suppose i have a single w backslash w it can match it can match 1 it can also match a so anything with alpha numeric characters it can match these all meta characters are basically used to build patterns in python so when combined together we will be able to extract a certain text written in a certain way so that is why it is important now suppose that i have two backslash w's and we have one a so it is going to match this but in case we have two backslash w's that is small w's it is not going to match these three characters since we have written only two backslash w's another meta character is backslash capital w this is used to match special characters special characters now what are these special characters they can be they can be percentage they can be exclamation mark they can be a uh, space 
they can be at the rate hashes etc etc so if i am writing a single capital w it means that it can match at the rate but not but not small a or a lower case a because this backslash w backslash w capital w matches only special characters and space is also a special character in regex now suppose that suppose that i have a letter or an a word dog and right after this g i don't know what is hap what has happened to me today dog is my favorite word just after this g i am i am writing a square bracket here and within the square bracket i am writing dogo o g and n so what this square bracket does is that suppose that by mistake or by any 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 chance you have uh, written a text which has added something just after g like suppose that we have d o g n d o g g or d o g o so in all these cases if i want anything anything which which is added to a dog spelling anything which anything means that anything from 0 g n anything from them if extra has been added to a dog letter i want to extract that so i am mentioning a square bracket here now what this square bracket does is it only matches a single character at a time that means suppose that the spelling is suppose that the spelling is which it matched is d o g o it will match a single character so anything after g which is which is which can be o g or n is match only single time now in any case if we have to match a spelling d o g o o or g to gog so this square bracket is not going to match is not going to find this pattern because square brackets only match a single alphabet within the square brackets you mention whatever you want to and only a single a single alphabet will be matched in our case it was o it can be the spelling can be d o g and just right after g anything from 0 n or uh, o g n n that is g or d o g o n in case this is the property of a square bracket now we also have something like this d o g parenthesis now this was square now we are using parenthesis so this parenthesis is used to create a group of letters so suppose that we have o g n 
Now this parenthesis, whatever is within the parenthesis, would be matched exactly as it is. So suppose that in our entire text by mistake we have after a, a dog spelling after a G, we have added by mistake O G N altogether. So it is going to match. O G N exactly. In any case, if you have a text which do, does not have the exact alphabets as mentioned in your parenthesis, it is not going to match. It takes the, the whatever is in the parenthesis exactly as it is. So this was one letter at a time and this is exact word, exactly what you have written in the parenthesis. So this won't be matched. Now within these brackets, within these brackets, say that you want two entire structures to be matched. So suppose that after G, we have O, G, N in our text or we have A, N, N in our text. This will be parenthesis. So in this case, in this case, D, O, G, O, G, N will also be matched and D, O, G, A, N, N will also get matched as a, as you have mentioned in your parenthesis. So this bar straight bar is used as or so that in the entire text if you have OGN attached right next to the G then it will match or in case you have this ANN attached to the uh, just after the G it will again match. So these both are correct when we add a bar here. Now we will move to another another meta character. These were also uh, rec recognized as meta characters because square and brackets uh, parentheses have their special meaning. Okay. Now let's talk about a strip. A strip says match anything zero or more times so suppose that we have we have tree written here and right after the e we have a strict sign so I am applying a strict sign on E. Okay. I am applying a strict sign on E. Now this will match TR. This will also match TRE because it says anything zero times. That means if E is not present, then also match. If the starting letters are T and R and R, not N R, this will also match T R E E and also match T R E E E. But it won't match, it won't match T E because the spelling says T R first in our pattern. 
so we need tr exactly as it is and then asterisk sign on the e will stay will be means that e is present or it is not present or is present multiple times in our case we also have we also have question mark this basically means anything matched zero or one time that basically means that if we have t r e here and a question mark has been added to it in that case in that case it is going to match t r it will also match t r e and so on and so forth this can also go for sometimes sometimes what happens is that uh, another example of this question mark is sometimes what happens is that um, few people write spelling of color as c o l o r and few people write it as c o l o u r so in that case color means in in literal sense color means color so it can be c o l o r or it can be c o l o u r so in 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 this case what we can do is i'm just going to remove this i'm just going to add a question mark right after u and i will write r here to complete the spelling so this particular line will match c o l o r because question mark says match it even though it is zero times and it will also match c o l o u r but in any case if our if our if our word is not spelled as c o l u r if it is spelled as this it is not going to match because the spellings are not we have applied just question mark right on the u alphabet and not on the entire thing right then this will be a mistake so if you want to match a tree you at least the you need the first part of the statement to be correct and then you can add asterisk or question mark whatever you want to i hope that this makes sense now the next is the next is plus sign which basically means anything matched one or more times so now in this case the spelling should have u so suppose that i write c o l o u and on that i write plus and then i write r that means i'm saying that u has to be there u can be multiple times present this is a plus sign u can be multiple times present but it has to be at least one time so it will match c o l o u r it will match c o l o u u r but it is not going to match the pattern when the spelling is c o l o r because plus means match anything one or more times so that's that now in in the process of learning all this you might be thinking that what are we going to do with all this all these meta characters in a text there might be a situation 
that you there is a spelling mistake or there is a word that is um, that is correct either way that is in the case of color spelling uh, or you want a a word to be removed from that text but you will only be able to remove that word if you find that word in that text so you need all these all these meta characters so that you can build a pattern such that only that particular text or that particular word is recognized and removed later on from your text file so that is why it is important that we learn the meta characters first now the next one in on the list is a full stop this is also called period now this particular full stop can match anything that mean when i say anything that means it can match a number it can match a alphabet either small case or capital in capital case it can match a special character as well but but only one time that means if i have if i have a letter or a, a or a word tree and i write and i add a full stop or a period sign right after e that means i am saying that after this e anything can become anything can come in place of this period sign that means it can match t r e e it can match t r e 1 it can match t r e space and I'm, i'm writing this uh, uh, i'm using this underscore sign to denote that is a space it can match t r e percentage sign or t r e at the rate sign but it is not going to match it is not going to match t r e e e because as i said only one time anything can anything can be written just after e so here we have two e e's so it's not going to match then it is also not going to match or find the pattern in any in case we have a spelling mistake i hope that that this video was informational that is for that is it for today's video now so that's it for this video hope you found this video informational and you learn something from it if you haven't already please click on the like button and the subscribe button and if you want to know more about dexlab analytics you can go to the website www.dexlabanalytics.com or you can call on the number on the screen thank you very much take care bye bye